Well, it is arguably one of the most consequential political events in American history, and now the historical documents that help tell the story of what happened will be preserved for future generations. Talking about the infamous Box 13 case out of Jim Wells County, not Duval, Jim Wells. Our Mike DeSilva got a good look at those documents today for us. Mike? That's right, Joe. The results of Box 13 from the Senatorial Democratic primary runoff election race in August of 1948 between Lyndon Baines Johnson and Coke Robert Stevenson was the deciding factor in that election and arguably altered the course of history. As for the controversy surrounding those results, on September 3rd, some six days after the polls had closed, 202 additional ballots in Precinct 13 were discovered that had not yet been counted. Of those votes, 201 went for LBJ and one was for Stevenson. So I think it's very clear what happened in, in that box. And that is? That is, the box was stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Those 201 votes gave LBJ the victory over Stevenson, and the rest is history. The results made headlines nationwide as there were allegations of fraud and stuffing. A petition for injunction and temporary restraining order was quickly filed, but ultimately the results from Precinct 13 did stand, and LBJ remained the winner. And while the documents from the legal battle over the results are still around, the whereabouts of the infamous ballot box remain a mystery. Because it was never entered as an exhibit, it would not be in, in our possession. Uh, but I've asked several people about it, and it's believed that the Rangers took custody of it, and it was actually never returned uh, to Jim Wells County. <laughs> so it just disappeared. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Because of the historical significance of the court documents surrounding Box 13 results, they have been put in protective sheets and put in a protective binder. Up until now, the case documents were filed in letter-sized envelopes, but now the documents will no longer be held or handled by human hands. It should be noted that after LBJ won this controversial election, he went on, of course, to become the U.S. Senate Majority Leader and then Vice President. After helping JFK carry Texas and win the 1960 presidential election, he then, of course, went on to become President after the assassination of JFK and played such an influential role in the civil rights movement and the Vietnam War, among other historical events. But the course of history may have been different without the votes of Box 13. And it makes you think of movies yeah. like Back to the Future, how if you change one event, everything else changes. Yeah, I can't get over the fact that Texas Rangers apparently stole the box, <laughs> right? Exactly. Where is it? We don't know. Thank you, Mike.